zombie apocalypse. Hey there friends, it is Halloween and let's use the beta of Tinkercad to make ourselves a cool Halloween pumpkin. Start by going to your basic shapes and finding a sphere and bringing that little critter in. And because it's a pumpkin, let's pick an orange. I want you to take that sphere and I want you to shrink it so that it's 10 wide and I want you to grow it so it's 20 uh, in length. And let's make sure it's also 20 high. When you've got that done, I want you to do Control D, which is duplicate. Click on it and rotate one of them by going to the longer lines so it's 45 degrees. Grab them both. Do Control D again to duplicate again. Rotate again, once again, 45 degrees. Grab them all again. Do Control D one last time. And rotate two more clicks. And you have got a pumpkin. If you want to do that again, you may. I'm going to take that piece, though, and I'm going to select it all. And I'm going to make it a group so I don't wreck it anymore. So my pumpkin is partially made. All right, let's real quickly add a stem. Press that W for work plane, or you can click work plane and click on the very top where you want to put your stem. Find the paraboloid and drop that little critter on there. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to shrink him. So that's decent for what I want. And then I'm going to do the select align and I want to do center and I want to do center so that it's arranged. I'm going to shut off the align tool I'm going to click on my stem, and I want to make it a little thinner, so now I'm shrinking it one piece at a time, and I want to make it green. When you're happy with your stem, press W to go back to the blue guideline, and let's add eyes. I'm going to add triangle eyes. You can be cooler and add other eyes. When I drop the triangle on, I'm going to shrink them to a small size by holding shift. I'm going to arrange them side by side before I actually uh, push them in. I want my eyes to look like that. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to do control D to duplicate. I'm going to move its partner over using the arrow keys. I'm going to select those two and I'm going to group them so that way they stay connected. And now I can lift them up and I can push them in to my little uh, pumpkin's head. And I'm using the arrow keys to line them up. I can raise them up once again with the cone. And when I got it where I want, I can simply hit group making sure that I only group the pumpkin in the eyes. I don't want to group the orange piece or the uh, stem and it will cut out my cool little eyes. All right, I'm going to do a super simple mouth by grabbing the half circle or the round roof and then rotating it 180 degrees, making sure that I stay close to those long lines makes it a lot easier. I'm going to make it a hole and I'm going to shrink it so it fits the way I want. I'm going to use the cool align tool to align the two pieces together. I'm holding shift so I select both. And when I hit align, I want it to be to the front and I want it to be to the center. And then I'm going to click elsewhere and lift up my mouth to the height that I want. I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to group those two pieces so it cuts out my jack-o'-lantern's mouth. Not the fanciest ever, but it does work. I'm going to go back to my align tool, and I'm going to align those two parts center and center so my stem is back where I want. 
And then the last piece is I want to add a couple of fangs. I'm going to do that by pressing W on the keyboard and setting my work plane to the inside of his mouth. And I'm going to use the pyramid to create my little fangs. Shrink them down to the size I want and place them wherever I want. Once again, you can make yours cooler, fancier, whatever. But just have fun making an awesome jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to change my grid and I'm going to shrink it down so I can sink him in. And with him lined up the way I want, I'm going to do Control D to duplicate. Use that arrow key to add another thing, so I'm just nudging them across. I could leave them separate colors, which is fun. I can also group them so that they become part of my little jacko lantern One last quick addition. I want you to add a sphere. I want you to make it a hole. I want to shrink it down to 16 by 16 or 17 by 17. I'm going to do 16 by 16. I'm going to select both. I'm going to do a line. I want to make them centered. And I want to make them centered. And I want to make them centered that way as well. And with those aligned, then when I group them, my awesome jack-o'-lantern will be totally cut out. Even inside, just like the real thing. Last touch is to click Shift and click the pumpkin and align them one last time so that you've got your stem attached to your pumpkin. Congratulations on making an epic jack-o'-lantern. And if you got a chance, please subscribe to us at HL Mod Tech on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Click on Zombie Apocalypse.